Now as for your charger, this will go against your wall. So this would be your brick. This is what we get. And as you may notice, this goes up like so. But you can also take this out. So if you ever travel, you need to change this, you can. Plus you can buy an extension that can go here to make this longer as well. So that's a good thing about this. That's why that comes off. And right here, we would plug in this cable that we got. So this is the charging cable. And yes, it's very small. It almost looks like an iPad cable, like the old school iPad cables. But this is what it looks like. And this is to charge up your Mac. So you will notice that the cable is different. The M1 just came with a USB-C cable. So both ends were the same. Now with the M2s, they're, they're different. They went back to this, which I guess makes sense because this type of charger, as you guys can see, although it's not the best, it just makes sense with Mac so they can make a little bit more money. Whereas if they just stuck around with USB-C, well, then they don't make as much money. Which, by the way, is the only reason why they went back to this. They kind of figured that out. So this is the cable they get with it. It's braided. It's thin. It, again, looks like an iPad cable. And this would be plugged in here. So let me just show you. This will go right in here. And it will go right into your Mac to charge it up. So this is what you need, essentially, for your Mac. Let's just open this up. And I want to note that this color right here is actually darker than the MacBook Pros. So there is a difference in color once you take a look at this in the MacBook Pro. But anyways, around the Mac itself, you're going to notice on the bottom there's nothing. You've got this and that's it. On the back, you've got some ventilation. On uh, here, this is where you open up the lid. And right on the side, you're just going to have to charge your USB-C's or Thunderbolt, whatever you want to call them. And on the other side, that's just for your headphones. That's it. So again, I uh, just want to compare this to MacBook Pro. MacBook Pro has a lot more. A MacBook Air, they keep it a little bit more simple, but they have less space to work with. They are thinner. They're definitely not as thin as the old ones. So if you guys have an old MacBook Air, you're not going to notice that that's thinner than these. These new MacBook Airs, they're a little bit thicker. And that's it, that's it. That's all you guys get around the MacBook. If we open it up, it's just gonna turn on right away. If it doesn't, we have to charge it up, but usually they come with some charge. They never wanna let these guys just die on you. So technically, this should always come with some charge. So right now, let's just go on and just turn it on so you guys can see. And before I turn it on, I wanna also mention that if uh, you touch this with your hands, it's very easy to get smudges on this type of finish. But anyways, let's just open this up so you guys can see. Here we go. It's just going to turn on by itself right away. We've got our trackpad, standard keyboard. And there we go. We're ready to set this up. Also would like to note that it doesn't really matter which MacBook Air you guys got. They're all going to be the exact same thing when you look inside the box. Even the keyboard and all that stuff is going to be the same thing. Right here, the screen, it's going to move this up a little bit. Up here, that's the camera. So that's for your face ID. Down here below, you're going to see this right here. That's actually a power button. And also, it's for your fingerprint. So it's a button and for fingerprint. I'm going to go on and zoom in a little bit better so you guys can see that. So on the top right-hand corner, so on the top, once again, this is for fingerprint and your power buttons. If I want to turn this off and force shut it down, maybe I don't want to set it up right now, I can just hold on to it, and that's going to force shut it down. Obviously, you don't want to do this every time. To shut it down, you should do it from your menu. This is just to force shut it down, because you may not want to just do the setup right at this second. Other than that, there's not much more to show you around the Mac itself. It is thinner than the MacBook Pro. It is lighter than MacBook Pro, and a lot of people are going for these for that matter. And uh, you can edit videos on these. Obviously, it's not going to be as fast. But they're still pretty good. And they're really portable. So if you're watching this because you're thinking about getting MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, yes, this would be lighter and more convenient. However, you will miss out on the power. And uh, if you guys saw my unboxing for MacBook Pro, you do end up with less connections right here with a MacBook Air that you might or might not need. Depends on your own needs. But yes, this is very, very thin. 
and that's the cool thing about these MacBook Airs, and it's always been the same thing. But as far as this video, we are all done. That's it. That's all we can show you. If you guys want to see this thing in action, make sure to watch the setup video and the manual. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.